how's it going guys this is Najan welcome back to another video in this video I'm going to review the Unlink 4k 60 FPS capture card this is the capture card that I have been using to record all my gameplay footage and also for live streaming and this is a capture card that records in ultra HD 60 FPS and it's under 100 pounds so considering the capture card market if you do want an ultra HD 60 FPS capture card you might be spending a lot of money they're about 250 pounds but this one is 100 pounds so it's much cheaper now in this video i'm going to show you the gameplay footage and i'll talk about what this capture card is capable of i'll also talk about what i like about this capture card and what i don't like about this this channel is not monetized if you like my content please consider becoming a member or a patron links are in the description now I'll start off with the um, specifications. This works on a USB Type-C 3.1 interface. It has a HDMI pass-through and this does support HDR and according to the listing and the specs, it also supports variable refresh rate pass-through. Now the recording quality on this is very cool. It has a lot of options. So it does recording 2160p 60fps as well as 30fps. It does 1440p up to 144 fps it was 1080p up to 240 fps and the resolutions you do get 120 fps options as well as 60 options you can record in lower frame rates uh, also the other thing is it does also record in 1080p 60 fps rgb so that's lossless quality recording or the equivalent of that and it looks like screen capture so it looks really really good now this capture card is UVC compliant so it should work with all the operating systems and even in applications like Zoom or Discord. I'm going to be using this capture card on Linux. Actually I, I should say I have been using this capture card on Linux and it works really really well. The price for this capture card is £100 but if you have seen my unboxing video just note that this does come with a bad cable and it is very dependent on the cable that you use with this i do recommend buying a usb 4 cable and that will solve all the problems um, but if you want more information on that go ahead and watch my unboxing video let's take a look around the design so as you can see it does have a very nice design i do like the design it's got feet at the bottom it's got a metal housing and this is used for heat dissipation and it does get slightly warm not too hot but just a slightly warm now, unfortunately as far as build quality goes i know this is pretty nice and it's just a capture card but the rest of it is built out of plastic and you can see that this bay is going to be in this is a bit out so but at the end of the day i, I suppose who cares about the build quality of a capture card as long as it works and you can have it set on the desk not moving so it's not an issue on the front you have a microphone in so it does also record the audio for from your playstation and stuff and you can put a microphone into this and the audio will have a voiceover if you speak into the microphone you also have a headphone jack so you can monitor the audio on the front of here you can see it has indicators so whether you're outputting to a TV, whether it's using, whether you have it connected to a PC or whether it has video feed coming into it. On the back, you just have the Type-C for connection to PC and a HDMI pass-through. Now you can power this capture card with just a wall adapter and they will pass through the um, HDMI, but you won't be able to record with that. Okay, so in OBS, you just go ahead and add a video capture device video for linux 2 drivers and it's called sav2503 capture card and this is the unlink capture card so let's go over the options you have one camera which is just one input you have video formats i'll start with the top and i'll go over the options down here nothing changes so we'll start off with yui 422 you have 1440p maximum at 50 fps you have ultra wide which is 21 by 9 this also goes to 50 fps maximum you have 1080p this goes to 60 fps maximum 
you have 720p 60 uh, 120 fps actually you have 720 by 576 this is at 50 fps and 640 by 480 which is goes to 60 fps uh, let's go to motion jpeg now motion jpeg is going to give you the most options and all of the resolutions um, so you have ultra hd at 60 fps and as you can see it's not working we'll put this on to 71 and then it will start working you have ultra hd at 60 fps you do have 21 by 9 at 60 fps there we go it's updated so the 21 by 9 and 60 fps you have 1440p at 144 fps maximum you have 1080p at 240 fps maximum you have 720p at 120 fps maximum you have 720 by well you can just go ahead and read them on the screen i'll actually just crop in or whatever let's go to 420 yuv 420 um this is to ultra hd at 30 fps maximum and this is the format that was uh hdr tone mapping from my experience it allows you to correct the color space in hdr inputs and you can see if i go to limited color space this looks normal but there's also full color space and that looks really really washed out that's because it expands the color gamut but it is in 420 so this doesn't capture hdr but it does do tone mapping to make the hdr footage look sdr so it looks normal anyways you have ultra hd as 30 fps 1440p as 60 fps which is the one that i use all the time and you have 21 21 by 9 at 60 fps 1080p at 120 fps and this format works really really well 720p at 120 fps and you have the lower resolutions at 60 and 50 fps let's go to play now by by uv 420 this is going to be basically the same it's just a different way of capturing the color so ultra hd at 30 fps 4040p 60 fps ultra wide 60 fps uh 1080p at 120 720p at 120 and then the others are the same so basically it's the same let's go to uh 24 bit bgr which is which is 24 bit xrgb color so it will do ultra hd at 30 fps 1080p at 60 fps it is upside down so you can correct that in obs 720p at 120 fps that is very interesting so it does more than 1080p 60 it does 1440p at 30 fps in x rgb that's cool okay and then you have the emulated color spaces there is latency on this capture card it's approximately 30 milliseconds to 50 milliseconds it's actually pretty cool if you use the uh, faster frame rates there is much less okay let's talk about the performance of this capture card overall it's been excellent it really has been just amazing at capturing gameplay footage and it actually captures the full range of the color unlike the easy cap which i reviewed a bit ago now you might find that the colors are a little bit different in the file manager over here i can show you the difference between screen capture and using the yuv 422 or 420 format you'll see a shift in the colors now this isn't really noticeable and it's not something to be concerned about unless you have ocd now one thing i love about this capture card is that it does support 21 by 9 ultra wide recording and that's really really cool you can use this to record ultra wide footage and if you choose this capture card with your monitors it will force the resolution output so no matter what monitor you have you can use this to play in ultra wide and you can also output ultra hd video to your monitor so even if you have a 1080p monitor you can output ultra hd video to it and that's pretty cool now while this capture card does have hdr pass through and variable refresh rate pass through it doesn't capture either of them 
so don't get too excited you are losing something by buying a cheaper device now xrgb has been really cool i did use it for a bit and it looks perfect it looks like screen capture so that's quite nice to have and it goes to 1080p 60 fps so you can get amazing quality footage that way now let's talk about what i like about this capture card and what i dislike about this so i like the image quality that comes out of this it's been excellent i like the ease of use it is uvc compliant so it just works straight out of the box with almost any operating system uh, so it shouldn't really give you any issues let's talk about what i dislike about this capture card now it's very cable dependent so it's a bit annoying that you don't get cable with it that works really well with it you do have some bundles that you can buy and i did buy that bundle and it came with a cable from unlink which didn't work and also some cables that did work so it's very dependent on the cable that you use with this it's just a bit picky about this so it's a bit annoying but once you find the right cable it works really really well now unfortunately ultra hd 60 fps does drop some frames I did record using my dedicated GPU in Ultra HD 60fps and you can see that it does look really nice and it looks really stable but you will notice it stutters every now and then and that's because it's dropping frames um, now it might be because of the motion JPEG format on Linux this is a big issue because it just I in my opinion motion JPEG just doesn't work really well on Linux and it could be that um, and you can see on Linux it just tro keeps dropping out sometimes so you have to put auto timeout or auto reset and that sometimes does fix it it starts working again but motion jpeg stay away from it now I wouldn't recommend this capture card to record ultra hd 60 fps footage while it does do that uh, you might have a better experience using windows but I do like that it does so much else so it does 1440p at 120 fps which is amazing um, the fast frame rates in motion jpeg like 1080p 240 fps and 1440p at 144 fps um, they tend to drop out because they're really really fast and it's the peak of this capture card so uh, i i don't really recommend them for that and in obs it might be on linux but uh, i'm not sure just let me know in the comments I'm not sure if you can record more than 120 FPS on OBS. So it does have 1080p 120 FPS and 1440p at 120 FPS. And um, I think that's just cool. It allows you to do so much other than Ultra HD 60 FPS, which I'm not going to recommend this for. And I know it wasn't my system. I did try multiple USB ports as well as um, using my dedicated GPU to record. So it has so much headroom as. In terms of power my pc has uh, so much cpu headroom as well as so much gpu headroom so it's not my pc that's the problem this capture card just drops frames um that's a minor drawback but it does make a big difference in the quality of the recording so i would not recommend it for ultra hd but other recording qualities it looks amazing and it looks really really nice can't really find any fault as far as the quality goes but um let me know what your thoughts on this capture card if you are interested i do recommend it for all the other cool stuff if you want 1080p 60 xrgb that works really really well like the design it hasn't really given me any issues it just works and it works really really well so i do like this capture card and i do recommend it and i'm going to be using this from now on until it dies let's hope it doesn't so if you do have any questions ask me in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in another video